Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today MSI sent us a couple of their brand new laptops. One that was their super secret notebook from CES this year and it's a 17 inch bigger brother. All right, so we've got two of MSI's high performance thin gaming notebooks here. This is the GS60 Ghost, and this is the GS70 Stealth Pro. The GS60 is the thinnest and lightest 15.6 inch gaming notebook on the market, while the GS70 is the thinnest and lightest. We've got the theme going on here. 17 inch gaming notebook on the market. Let's go through the specs, many of which are similar. They both feature fourth gen Intel Core i7 processors, including hyper-threading, quad-core processors no less. For RAM, they both have 16 gigs of 1600 MHz DDR3L RAM that fill up both of the included slots. They are maxed out in that regard. They both feature discrete graphics, but the GS60 has an 860M with two gigs of DDR5, while the GS70 has an 870M GeForce graphics card with three gigs of DDR5. It should be noted there will be a pro model of the GS60 coming out later that will feature an 870M. Storage also, the, well, okay, we find more similarities between the two of them. They both feature a separate 128 gig M SATA SSD and one terabyte spinning drive, although the GS60 uses a 7200 RPM drive, which might offer slightly better performance. Um, and the story gets better because the GS60 has an option for Super RAID by adding another SSD to the mix to give you RAID 0. And did I mention that those SSDs use the M.2 interface, which provides better better throughput than MSATA as long as you're using an SSD in it. Remember I said MSATA before because this one uses an SATA interface, but if you're using an M.2 SSD that happens to use the PCI Express interface, then it gets even faster. They both have the same network connectivity with 802.11 AC and Bluetooth 4.0 as well as Killer E2200 networking with, you know, packet prioritization for your gaming and all that stuff. I love to see dedicated Ethernet still present on gaming notebooks. It's important. Thank you, MSI, for that. Both of them use full 1080p panels with an anti-glare matte coating, but the GS60, actually both of them, not sure what you're talking about, wheels, they both use an I IPS panel, whereas the GS60 is also using a new interface. So it's using embedded display port, which might not have much relevance today, but stay tuned for the future because there could be some extra flexibility there. The GS60 can output to two external displays while the GS70 can actually do three additional monitors in NVIDIA surround. Sound is powered by Dynaudio for both of them with four speakers in each and an extra dedicated sub in the GS70, which probably makes a big difference. I haven't spent much time auditioning the GS70, but the GS60 was lacking bass a little bit when I spent some time with it. They both have Steel Series keyboards with full color backlight and tons of customization with the included software. The keyboards are actually identical, but have just been moved down as much as possible to just barely accommodate the touchpad and a little bit less wrist rest area than most laptops. The reason for that is they have cooling vents up in the tops of the notebooks that keep them running quite cool in spite of their slimness. They both use six cell batteries. So the GS60 has a 52 watt hour battery. The GS70 has a 60 watt hour battery. And they actually use the same A AC adapter. So it's kind of a, like a thin but still quite large power brick. These are some serious thin and light notebooks, but to me, the GS60 is probably the more exciting of the two, which I guess is why MSI had it as like their super secret project. It uses a special magnesium lithium alloy construction that is both durable yet also solid and still very lightweight. This notebook actually weighs about the same as a Razor Blade 14, except that it has a full 1.6 inch of extra diagonal visible space on the screen. So it's, yeah, it feels cool to the touch pretty much, which means that you're getting great cooling with the chassis material actually contributing to that as well as the dual fans with four exhaust vents, two on the sides and two on the back. There's also very little flex to the notebook, especially in the keyboard area, which is extremely important when you're trying to have a good gaming or typing experience. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know which do you prefer? Do you prefer 15 inch class notebooks or 17 inch class notebooks for your gaming needs. As always, don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com. Or .ca, you can go there too.